Hi everybody, Steve Harvo with Creative Ventures and welcome to this month's Over Coffee. In about 3000 BCE, the people of the Nile Valley learned to harness the flooding waters of the Nile. They turned it into an agricultural gold mine and it was the starting of the Egyptian Empire. But as the empire grew, it faced the single most disastrous element empires face, fragmentation. There were cracks in the empire that began to happen. Civil wars started. And at about 1070 BC, Egypt split in half, unable to guarantee that they could follow through as a great empire, unable to communicate, unable to find common goals. Now, if you go back to Rome, about 753 BC, though, if you think about it, it's really 31 BCE when uh, Augustus Caesar put everything together to form the Roman Empire. But as the rise of the Eastern Empire came, the Roman Empire fragmented. It began in different pieces and it stopped working together. And this fragmentation led to one of the overriding factors that destroyed the Roman Empire. And today we face the same thing in fragmentation. It's good for certain things, bad for other things. If a meteorite comes flying down into the atmosphere of the earth, it's impacted by aerodynamic elements, the physics of aerodynamics. And what happens is as it comes in, it causes it to break up these factors and it fragments, good for the planet, bad for the meteorite. In business, we see it happening all the time. There used to be central workplaces, but now people work from their home, from Starbucks, from any place that they are in their hotel room. And work never stops. They're bombarded 24 hours a day, seven days a week with stuff that needs to get done. This causes a sense of community fragmentation within businesses. And businesses are aware of it. They're fighting really hard to combat it. And the one weapon to combat this fragmentation is great communication is the ability to figure out how to take separate elements that occur and link them together. So that, you know, if you have all of these elements, what you're looking for is a communication element that somehow links everything together. And if you can do that, and you can stay in constant communication with your teams, you'll then fight that element of fragmentation where people feel uninvolved in the culture of their company because they're not geographically centrally located. So let me give you a quick example. Starwood Hotels, prior to the Marriott takeover, has about 250,000 employees scattered over over 1,500 properties all across the planet Earth. Hotels, motels, everything you can think of, these people are all following the same cultural path, the same goal path, but they're fragmented. So what did Starwood do? Starwood utilized a unique intranet system called Jive that connected everybody together in a centralized element because they recognized that their one weapon, the power of choice, was the power of communication. And if they could keep people connected in communication, they then stopped that fragmentation feeling. So what it is, Jive is a, is a two-way street. It allows the company to push information that's needed by every employee, personnel matters, um, goals and structural changes that might occur in the company. But it also allows everybody in the company to tap in so that it creates this link of communication so people feel involved. Fragmentation happens to us all the time. It happens in the small context of ideas or in the large context of a company-wide goal. What's the secret? The secret is a laser-like focus on communication. There can't be too much of it. You have to figure out what are the important messages and how can I simplify them to get it out. It is the primary tool that fights fragmentation. So as you're looking at growth, as you're looking at goals, take a look at that single weapon of communication. It'll stop the fragmentation, it'll make people feel more involved, and it could be the turning point in allowing something to go from a small idea to a large idea. We're excited about our video series. We look forward to seeing you next month over coffee.